Aquaman and Bumblebee. Box office projections are franchise worst. Oof, that's not good. Um, <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe there's enough time for Paramount and Warner Brothers to uh, edit both of these into one giant crossover movie, um, and then uh, they could share the box office. Uh, you know, the only thing uh, left would be, uh, what do we call a movie like that? <laughs> How's it going, everybody? This is Phil. Uh, so um, we're over on ScreenRant.com, and uh, the author over here is uh, Chris Agar. And um, you know, this article it just kind of interests me because uh, these are two movies that, uh, as far as I'm concerned, seem to be um, films that look to be better uh, than what the franchise has offered recently. Uh, I'm certainly a big fan of what the new Bumblebee movie looks like, the direction that they're going in. Uh, and I thought that the trailer for Aquaman looked pretty interesting. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm on board with both of these movies. Uh, I'm not rolling my eyes at them like I had been for the recent offerings from either franchises. So I think it's kind of just, you know, it's a shame that uh, if these movies end up underperforming, but actually being uh, some of the better offerings that we've seen recently. So uh, let's go into to this article, check it out, and uh, you know, let's see what the experts, the quote-unquote experts, are saying. Um, so it says uh, both Aquaman and Bumblebee are currently projected to have the worst opening weekends <laughs> in their respective franchises uh, when they premiere in December. Uh, it's just it's so ridiculous. Uh, this is the first holiday season since 2014. Without a new Star Wars movie on the scene, and and thank God for that, uh, and other studios are looking to take advantage of the lucrative movie-going period. Among the many titles aiming to make a splash over Christmas are Aquaman and Bumblebee, the latest installments in series that are in definite need of a hit. Uh, last year, the DC Extended Universe and the live-action Transformers franchise experienced all-time lows with the release of Justice League, $229 million dollars dollars total domestically and the last night 130 geez 130 million domestic that is that is god awful i think uh solo did better than that if i'm not mistaken i mean that is horrendous uh obviously warner brothers and paramount would like to see their tent poles bounce back at the end of 2018 you think uh, and, <laughs> and have high hopes for the upcoming releases unfortunately uh there's only so much money to go around during busy Decembers, and it looks like the similar genre movies are going to cannibalize each other at the box office. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you know, one of the things that's completely ridiculous about this is it appears that both movies uh, are being released on December 21st. Uh, you know, and usually a studio uh, will get out of the way of another film, uh, you know, not necessarily out of respect, but because they don't want a portion of their profits to get cut into. Um, having both of these movies, which appear, you know, they they je they definitely appeal uh, to a a male demographic, um, the, the same demographic that's going to be going for both of these types of movies. You know, they're they're big uh, comic book action type films. Um, you know, fantastic adventure movies, you know, that's the same audience <laughs> between Transformers or any kind of comic book movie. Um, you know, they all play in the same sandbox, and you know, essentially as far as box office is concerned. It's just absurd that one studio wouldn't look uh, at the schedule and be like, you know what, um, let's budge. Unless they're going to play chicken and be like, you know, who cares? Uh, you know, this movie's going to bomb out. We don't really care about DC or, you know, Transformers is, they're on the balls of their ass. Who cares about them? I mean, to me, it's just a bad business decision. Uh, anyway, uh, according to Box Office Pro, long-range estimates for Aquaman and Bumblebee are now in. The former is expected to earn 40 to $60 million over its first three days, so that's Aquaman, while the latter is projected for 15 to $25 million. Um, that is not a good opening at all. Uh, these would be the lowest-grossing opening weekends for the two franchises, failing to top the aforementioned Justice League at $93.8 million and the last night at $44.6 million. Uh, Aquaman and Bumblebee both debut on December 21st. I mean, that is just, that is just ridiculous. Uh, sandwiched between other uh, high-profile offerings like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and uh, Mary Poppins. Well, at least that uh, that Cats movie <laughs> isn't coming out this holiday season. Uh, th thank God for that. Um, 
And there's a picture of uh, Mr. Momoa uh, splashing around in the bathtub. Uh, there's no denying uh, these thoughts are unideal. Uh, but they may not be the disaster they look like on paper. For starters, there's still plenty of time between now and December, so projections could trend upwards when these release dates uh, get closer. I doubt it. Additionally, uh, Warner Bros. and Paramount were smart about keeping costs down in regards to production budgets. Aquaman's price tag is in the ballpark of $160 million. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at, while Bumblebee's is in, uh, you know, it's $102 million. Um, that means they don't necessarily have to break the bank in order to turn a profit and will likely end up in the black as long as the international numbers are strong. Uh, you know, yeah, and the international box office plays a big role in, in you know, the, the bottom line. You know, when you get down to everything uh, and, you, and you look at your final receipts, that is going to be something that's going to make a difference. Um, but again, having both these movies come out on the same date, somebody should have had the forethought to go ahead and say, let's change, you know, uh, put this at a different a week earlier, a week later, or, or open up in November something, anything. Uh, of course, the studios would like to see better showings in North America, but it's possible Aquaman and Bumblebee can ultimately go down as successes. And I believe the Transformers franchise is actually really big uh, overseas in uh, the Asian market. So, uh, you know, Bumblebee can still uh, find itself definitely in the black. I mean, $102 million budget, and then you figure usually it's about half in marketing. Um, so, you know, they got to clear $150 million to, uh, to make a profit. Um, they should be able to get that no problem. Uh, Aquaman, you're looking at, let's see, uh, 80, $240 million uh, to get into the black if you're accounting for uh, marketing. So a little bit of more of a steeper incline. Uh, but, you know, look, on a, on a global box office, it is possible. Um, so, you know, relatively speaking, you just got to hope that the... Uh, the Justice League brand isn't tarnished to the point where, uh, you know, this movie can't overcome it because it does look like it's going to be a fun movie. Um, I'm looking forward to Aquaman, I, and I really do. I hope it does well. Um, so, and uh, uh, same can be said about Bumblebee. You know, it just seems like a nice change of pace, and, you know, I want to see more movies kind of set with this uh, visual aesthetic that they have brought into this film uh, for this franchise for, the, for really the first time. So... I'm really pulling for this movie to succeed as well. Uh, so uh, it says, uh, having said that, uh, these early estimates illustrate poor management by Warner Brothers and Paramount. There's seemingly uh, a would-be blockbuster released every week, but studios try to have some breathing room <laughs> exactly between their big movies and another company's. Uh, when two or more movies targeting the same demographic come out in the same weekend, uh, it's harder for one to break out, and not every fan is going to have time to check out both in theaters over the holidays. I, really, I mean, it really, somebody fell asleep at the wheel at one of these studios. I mean, it's just absurd. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens, but if Aquaman and Bumblebee end up disappointed commercially, the studios will only have themselves to blame. Absolutely true. I mean, it's just a ridiculous, you know, somebody should be fired uh, at one of these studios for, for putting both of these movies out on December 21st, uh, which they, they target exactly the same demographic. I mean, probably 95% of the same demographic is targeted by both of these movies. It's just an absurd thing. Um, but look, uh, if, if uh, projections have told us anything in recent times is that uh, they don't necessarily mean anything. Um, you know, now look, we saw last, well, I guess in the beginning of this year, 2018, uh, Solo, that movie, they were going to say, they were saying was selling out and it was going to have uh, bigger openings and, and ticket pre-sales than Black Panther. Uh, and we all knew that, we all ended up seeing that that was a bunch of nonsense and everybody was able to get tickets the day of. Uh, you know, theaters were not sold out. So that was... Um, that was like a marketing spin uh, that was being put out there. I mean, that was just a bunch of nonsense. Um, and then, look, uh, you know, most recently, uh, Venom came out, and the critics annihilated that film. And uh, they said that movie was going to completely bomb out, and the people turned out for it, and it, it made a lot of money. It surprised everybody. So, you know, projections, you know, they, they just play the numbers. Um, and, you know, they, I guess they get an idea of, uh, what's going on and uh, you know a lot of times they do kind of hit the mark and the in these box office receipts fall in line uh, for the most part uh, within a percentage of, of what the projections were um, but there are outliers and uh, you know either of these movies could hit and um, you know they might end up making more than what they're projected uh, opening week in box office ended up being now I, I hope for both of them that is the case uh, it's gonna be just so hard to uh, I mean, it really, I mean, one movie should have came out a week before 
um, or even a, you know a month before. I mean, it just seems ridiculous to me. Uh, you know, Aquaman I think would have been a better pick to come out in November and leave Bumblebee for uh, the, the holiday season. Uh, or I mean, look, flip flop them if you want, but just to come out right on top of each other the same exact day, uh, that is just a bad business move. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the box office of both of these movies. Um, I know I'm definitely going to see Bumblebee. Uh, that is something that I'm completely into. Uh, I don't know what the hell happened there with my screen. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Is that a little better? Um, that's definitely something that I'm into seeing. Uh, I love the Transformers franchise. I want to see it bounce back and, and have a strong show in the theaters. Uh, Aquaman looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, you know, I, I like the classic Aquaman look, but, uh, you know, I, I accept Jason Momoa right now in the WB, uh, you know, the DCEU universe, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, so uh, I'm on board with it. Uh, I don't know if I'll go check it out. It's definitely something I'll watch when it comes to, you know, Redbox or Netflix or home video, or whatever the case may be. So um, anyway, what do you guys think about uh, this whole deal with these mo <laughs> with these movies coming out on top of each other? Uh, which one do you plan on seeing? Are you plan on going to see both in the theaters? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, until I talk to you next time, guys, be happy, be safe, be healthy. Have a great day. Bye bye.